What's up everyone? Now before we get into the tutorial, I do want to mention some things. I made this video for a friend of mine a while ago. His record box library was accidentally deleted. However, he made a Time Machine backup a few weeks prior to that. And did you know that with Time Machine, you are able to restore individual files and folders? which can be very useful when you've accidentally deleted them. So we used my record box library as an example. And here's some things to take note. So firstly, you must have a recent time machine backup. That way we're able to recall back to when we last had Recordbox working. Secondly, do not use this as a method to go from Mac to Mac. This is not an alternative to a backup and restore function that you'd see in Recordbox. If you want to find out more on how to do that, you can click the link up here. And finally, I've disabled Cloud Library Sync to avoid any further issues in this example. If you do want to find out on how to reset Cloud Library Sync and start from scratch, I've got a link in the description below. Now with that out of the way, let's get into it. I'm going to look at restoring your whole library via Time Machine. I'm using my library as a, as a prime example. So if I happen to select all by hitting Control A, I'm gonna hit Delete to remove every single thing of, off my library. I've also got playlists here as well. So I'm gonna delete, I'm gonna delete them as well because that's obviously involved. Just show you an, a clear example. So in essence, I've started from scratch. Okay, so I am going to, I'm going to quit. I'm gonna show you where all that data is stored. If I hit go, then, then library. Here I am. It is stored in this particular folder here, Pioneer, and 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 after that, record box. And this shows you, okay, your your library and your playlists and 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 all that bit of data. I'm gonna open up Time Machine, so I want to restore the record box uh, folder. I'm gonna switch to this screen, which is right here. So I'm gonna do Time Machine. should hopefully be recorded. So I'm in this record box folder. So I want to simply restore, no, go back here. Okay, I, I, I basically wanna restore the record box folder. Okay, um, the restore button's not there yet. So I've gotta select through the timeline. So if I put, if I just move my mouse over to the right hand side, it shows you the various time, the timestamps, and I can even scroll back to, to to Saturday last month, like so. So if I wait for that to load, if you put your cursor around here, just recall the the time where you accidentally deleted your whole collection. Let's just do it that way. Recall the time where you last had your co your collection. So probably put it a day or, or or a couple days before you accidentally deleted your collection. So in this instance, I'm just gonna put it back here, like so. All right, and then I'm gonna click the Pioneer folder or even the record box. It doesn't matter. So I'm gonna hit restore. All right, so I'm uh, I'm back again. It's gonna wait for it to do it smart. I'm gonna go back to this screen. Uh, you'll see something here. Location where you're restoring Roku box already contains an item with the same name. Do you wanna replace it with the one you're restoring? I wanna hit replace. Cause I wanna replace, uh, I wanna replace everything. And it, obviously the loading time depends on, on the, the folder file size. You probably have, you know, gigs, gigs upon gigs. So that's done. I'm gonna open record box up again. Okay, I'm gonna move this over here. And look at that. Okay, so I've got my whole collection here. If I open up playlist, what shows? Oh, okay, look at that. Look at that. It is all there. I'm in performance mode by the way, and you can see all my title tracks. So that's how you do it. And look at that, it's everything as, as, I, as I had it before. And there you have it guys, I hope you found this useful. For more DJ tips, 
hit the playlist over here and don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you on the next one. Thank you.